<laughs> you know the thing in the ice cream truck that's the thing that has all the three colors on a popsicle? God, nobody can remember the name of it. Everybody at home is like yelling at the TV screen with the name. <laughs> I don't know. I was a little girl in the Rocket Pops. I was a little girl in the 1960s when the tinkly musical ice cream truck came down the street. Did that happen in your neighborhood? Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. I never could get a nap. They were. <laughs> It's fun when you're a kid, when you get to be old, it's right at nap time. Really? <laughs> <laughs> on that note, we're going to take a little break, and we'll be right back because we're busy on the lines. We're going to let everybody kind of calm down, and we've got more to show you in Cottage Farm. Stay with us. <laughs> Jack. Oh, we're talking about when I was little, we had a milk truck. It was the board of milk truck with Elsie the cow. Yes. My parents are watching. Mom, remember Jack the milkman? I still remember him. And we always used to run out and say, could we get some of those chocolate, um, they were the the ice cream pop things. Yeah. And oh, I remember those. Mom would once in a while let us get those. Get the fudge sickles. But the yeah. fudge sickles. Yeah, I love but, those. But he used to always put everything in that tin milk box on the back porch. So yeah. how old am I? And <laughs> Barely him. alive. We remember all that <laughs> yes, stuff. Yes, we do. All right. So um, let's talk about ground cover roses. These are stunning. <laughs> I love these in my garden. This yellow variety, which is called Golden, completely sold out a year yeah. ago. It's, it's back now, along with the lavenders, which I love lavender roses. They're very fragrant. I know Marie Osmond has a thing for lavender roses yes, as well. Yes, she does. We named one um, for her. That's right, and we I have it. We certainly did. I saw her a um, couple of weeks ago. So uh, this is our only quantity of both in stock right now that we're going to have for the whole season. These give you color from spring through fall. They are just $36 for a six-piece set. And these, again, are those roses that are like no maintenance. No maintenance and also yeah. a problem solver because mm -hmm. no weeds will come up through these. You can plant these underneath your mm -hmm. tree roses if you pick those up or on an embankment mm -hmm. or you, we talked about the verbena cascading over walls. These cascade over walls and I guarantee you half the people in the state of Louisiana are on the line right now because <laughs> LSU colors. I know that's so <laughs> true. It is LSU colors. All right. So let's talk about how how do these do yeah. because they they're going to spread out. They're called ground cover for a reason. Right. Exactly. So you're going to get you, you got your choices here. You got the yellow ones mm -hmm. and you got the lavender ones right here. Right. And so you're, you're going to get six. six of whichever color you pick. You're getting six. Okay. Now, these don't get very tall. That's what I like about them. You've got three seasons of color out of these. These are the longest blooming of any of the roses that we have. Where they touch the ground, they root. They spread along the ground and they root. They mm -hmm. will colonize, say if you've got a drive circle, they will colonize your drive circle. Nice. And if you've got them at the top of a wall, these, these will cascade down five, six feet. If you've ever seen the tree form cascading roses, mm -hmm. you know what that is? Yeah. It is a ground cover rose has been grafted onto a rose trunk. Okay. That's why they cascade. Mm -hmm. That's what these do. They had one called uh, Sugar Plum Fairy or something yeah. a while back yeah. that you brought. It was we gorgeous. Did. So uh, these are so pretty and you get six rose shrubs for $36. I mean, yeah. who ever heard of getting a rose shrub for six dollars? Um, and here they are again. Those are the lavender, yep, and they are not like a super pale, washed out. They are a really vivid lavender color. Each plant will get five feet across. Wow! How's that? And wow. just it's one of our best problem solvers for the many reasons that I've, I've listed. Low maintenance, and I have to tell you. They're extra, extra hardy. Mm -hmm. uh, these uh, do not get the disease problems, and you've got blooms all season long. So you're going to plant these, what, about five, four or five feet apart? Yeah, I would, okay. because if you've got an embankment, you want to cover an embankment, 
this is a way to go and, with that and these one. these spread out, so you're getting six, so multiply that by, you know, you're, you're going to cover like a 25 to 30 foot area with one set of these. Uh, if you talk about like a vertical area, um, these grow quickly, they spread out, and you've got lots and lots of flowers. And let me tell you a little trick about these. See, those are just getting started. Yeah. They're just getting started. You will not be able to see the pot. Mm -hmm. I had some in the planter last year and they came down, yeah. then they started to puddle at the bottom. You feel mm -hmm. you've got your draperies, you know how you puddle the draperies yeah, at right. the bottom? That's the way my pots looked at the bottom. Pretty. When they come to you, they're this size. Mm -hmm. So they're Don't easy be to plant. fooled because look it looks like a mini rose. It is not. And it's not a big hole to dig. Look at no. that. It's easy to plant these, but remember, space them out. Space them out. Mm -hmm. And the colors are really beautiful together. These will mm -hmm. get five by five. Mm -hmm. If you want these to be mixed together, say if you picked up both collections, mm -hmm. say you got the lavenders and the yellows, plant them side by side. That's yeah. what I do exactly side by side. Then they'll intertwine like this, and it'll be a mixture. We're showing you a lot of mixtures today. Mm -hmm. This is one of those you can create yourself. How about if if you had the, that fragrance collection with the mango tango rose oh, with oh those wow. yellow ones, be gorgeous. wouldn't that be pretty? It'd and, be absolutely and gorgeous. if you got that one actually with the lavender roses, because you've got that cranberry dianthus and the um, lavender, the purple lavender in there. Yes. So these would work really well with that fragrance set, which I think we still have a few of those left. But these pretty. are ideal for the small garden or yeah. as a problem solver. Um, in Atlanta, I had a very tight drive circle. You know, it's like, oh, you can't make your driveway any wider than such and such. And it was really hard to get around the circle because yeah. it was tight. Especially and I had in that big Cadillac with fins that you drive. Oh, hush your mouth now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, it filled up the drive circle, but they would come out over the edge, and you can, if you can drive over these because there's no trunk to break off. They absolutely hug the ground like a ground cover. That's why these are called ground cover roses. Mm -hmm. They really are a ground cover. And mine were growing like that, and because they're so low to the ground, I planted daffodil bulbs Ooh, in there. The daffodils bul bulbs bloomed first, mm -hmm. and then these came, and they bloomed above the roses to oh, give you an idea about how yeah. tight to the ground these are. That's such a great idea. You have so many great suggestions. So I, that's why a lot of people tape these shows, you know, <laughs> they, they play them back and, and remember what you said. But uh, we're going to say hi to Kathleen in okay. Georgia, uh, who I believe picked up the lavender set. Is that right, Kathleen? Yes, I did. Well, oh, good. hello. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Thanks for calling. Well, thank you, and I wanted to let you know that I also purchased the six-piece teddy bear rose collection. Oh, the teddy bear! That's my did baby. exactly what you said to do, and it's growing beautifully in my planter boxes on my upper deck. Oh, Yay. Kathleen, it makes me so happy. <laughs> Kathleen's talking for all of you. She's talking about the teddy bear mini roses, which sold out like that fast. So I hope we get those again next year. <laughs> Tell you, I'm, I'm so glad you got those, Kathleen. You, mm -hmm. When you see something that you really love, yeah. it doesn't matter if you don't see it for 15 more years, which was the gap between that one and the time I saw it again. Mm -hmm. You don't forget it. Yeah. Well, and also I wanted to ask you, I have a problem area in my backyard. Yes. My, my backyard fronts on a golf course. Yes. So I'm limited to height. Yes. And also I'm limited to um, what I can plant next to the cart path because my house is adjacent to the cart path. Gotcha. Yes. So I have a problem area where we've planted roses and these are I guess they're not ground cover roses, but they're roses that get about maybe three feet tall. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they're all different colors. <clears throat> and I was thinking of putting what I purchased today, the ground cover rose, yes. in mm -hmm. front of that because it's a sloping area. Yeah. Yes. And I also want it to spread with color because yes. I have I have pink, yellow, and and kind of a, a white that I have in there now, and I was thinking Ooh, the pretty. lavender would be a nice yes. contrast because I have kind of a pinkish stucco to my house. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think they, they would work absolutely beautifully, and you'll find that they're really low. And what I like about it, some of your shrub roses get a little bit leggy, and this will fill that gap. Yeah. And That's also, what I was thinking. as I mentioned, um, Kathleen, as these grow along the ground, where they touch the ground, they will root. In fact, my dad showed me this years ago. When, the, when a long runner comes out, you can put a brick on it. The next year, you cut off by the brick, and it's already got roots underneath it, and you can move that plant around. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, oh, that's great. So, so you, would it, uh, about what size distance will this ground cover uh, go, grow? Are you, worried about get, get, are you worried about it getting onto the golf cart path? 
Not necessarily. I, I don't even mind if it drapes over because we have a stone border all okay. the way oh. around okay. our, prom, our, our property so that, you know, I don't worry if it gets onto the carpet because then we just come and trim it off. Well, right. for an instant look, Kathleen, I would plant these about three feet apart. Ultimately, they get five feet wide, but for a really quick look, three feet apart and they will go to town for you. They're low maintenance and you go ahead and fertilize them with the, with the rose fertilizer and I also mulch it a little bit and they'll go to town for you. Yay. Okay, deer resistant? R deer will eat all roses. I won't lie to you. <laughs> I know, I found that they come into my thorns and I guess they have bloody lips because they, <laughs> they come in there and, and do my pruning for me sometimes it's, and the roses come back, believe it or not, oh. even even prettier and, oh. and seem to uh, thrive with that saliva or whatever it is they chew with. Wow. Well, what I find is that they tend to eat things that are up a little bit. They tend to not go down low. My guess is this would probably be the last thing they'd go for. But Kathleen, when you're picking them out, take a look at how beautiful the two colors are together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really oh, yes. are pretty. I know, I saw the lavender. The reason I wanted lavender, I have lavender up on the hill, and every year when those roses bloom, people stop from the cart path and just look up because they are so spectacular. And they're a hybrid rose bush that I put in at the time we built the house, and that was 15 years ago, and they're Aww. still blooming. Nice. Oh, wow. Well, these will be perfect, and you sound like you have a lovely piece of property, Kathleen, so uh, enjoy them. I will. And, uh, you know, you might see some of those golfers driving by with little pruning shears to, <laughs> to cut a few roses or maybe hit, hitting their ball over there, and they don't mind the mulligan because they've lost their ball in your rose bushes, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want color there because right now we just put pine straw in there and it's just so dead looking. It'll be beautiful. It will okay. be beautiful. Well, th okay. thank you for calling. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. Thanks, have a, Kathleen. Have a wonderful and springtime. And I'm still holding on because I also ordered the Daylily collection. Oh, good. Good girl. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> thank you, honey. Well, thank enjoy. You. Have a great spring. Happy Easter. Bye-bye. All right, we have an update. We started the show with 5,000 sets. If you want the lavender, we have 800 left. Wow. If you want the golden yellow, we have 1,300. So please stay on the lines for these. Wow, a huge chunk of these already gone and they just came back. All right, stay on the lines. Um, we have something new coming up. Actually, we, we have something that's, I have the wrong card in my hand. We have the torch lilies coming up, which are not brand new, but those are exciting. All right, uh, here is uh, something that's been hugely popular in this show. It's a hot pick. If you missed it, it was in the first half of the show. We started 4,000 of these brand new rose patio trees. They came in two colors, the coral and the peach, which Philip owns the peach at his house. What we have left is 700 in the coral, and 1,000 in the peach roses, and then that's it. And those were brand new today, and it's rare to see a rose tree on Easy Pay. We have only two Easy Pay things in the show, and that's one of them. So grab those. Uh, let's walk over here, my friend. So these are so cool. Yes. I love these. Uh, don't these come from like South Africa or somewhere, these torch lilies? They come from someplace really so far away. Th these are absolutely perennial, they're, they're, perpetual. They're, they're beautiful. So again, perennial means they come back every year. Perpetual means they never stop blooming. There's no downtime. Right. So people love these because they have that